guys my name is confident welcome to our short lesson this is the mathematics n2 and we're doing a, a quick revision on this section i thought of bringing these um exponential equations part two i did one lesson previously but i just thought of bringing another one for your attention and so that you can actually have an idea how do you solve exponential equations now look at this so we are given, say, solve for x, that's what we're given here, 4 to the power 2x is equal to 8 to the power of 3x minus 4. Now, you are supposed to solve for x here. Now, first things first, the law of exponents you are using, um, let me actually use, just to do this. So in the law of exponents, Whenever you're doing exponential equations, actually the laws, it says if you can match the basis such that a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n. Now look at this carefully. The base is a on the left hand side and the base is a on the right hand side, which means the bases are the same. Then it, it says you can equate the exponent. Therefore, that exponent is equal to that exponent. So in that case, m is equal to n, but the condition is there must be the same basis. So in this case, you have got 4, you have got 8. You cannot say 2x is equal to 3x minus 4. That will be wrong. Why? Because the bases are different. One is 8, one is 4. Meaning we can write these in terms of the same basis. And it's very important for you to understand these numbers like 4 and 8. Now, if you check, I can write 8 in terms of 4, but I will introduce another number. 8 is 4 times 2, which is a problem because there is 2 that is being introduced. But I can write both 4 and 8 in terms of 2. Remember, 4 is 2 squared. Then you put a bracket. You've got 2x is equal to 8 is 2. 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2, put a bracket, you have got 3x there, minus 4. So you see that I have expressed everything in terms of 2. Now, the laws of exponents says that they multiply each other like that, they multiply each other like that. So what you are having is, you are having 2 to the exponent 4x is equal to 2 to the exponent 3 multiplying 3x minus 4. The most important thing is the bracket because the negative sign between 3x minus 4 tells you that 3x and 4 are separate and they must be both be affected by 3 like, like that. Now look at this. Base is 2, base is 2. Then we can equate the exponent such that using that rule, 4x like m is equal to n so 4x is equal to 3 into 3x minus 4 are you seeing that then if you are to solve that you have got 4x is equal to if you open that bracket like that you'll have 9x now minus 12 if you are solving it Take 9 on the other side, you have 4x minus 9x is equal to negative 12. Now 4x minus 9x is negative 5x is equal to negative 12. Divide by negative 5 on both sides. Because 5, negative 5 and x are multiplying, opposite of multiplication is division, such that x is equal to can use a calculator it would be 12 over 5 so that's what we're having as the final answer but remember you need to test your answers in this case always test them any equation you can test your answers so how do you test it whether it's x you put that value so that you'll have 4 to the power 2 and our answer of x is 12 over 5 this must be equal to 8 to the power of 3 where this x is 12 over 5 minus 4 so let us test the first one so we'll have 4 to the power of 2 
into 12 over 5. Alright, we get the answer there, which is 776,04. Just to round off, 776,047. So I'll write here, 776,047. That was my right, uh, my left hand side. Now I'm going to try, test also, not try, test my right hand side. 8 to the exponent 3 into now my x there is 12 over 5 minus 4 when I do that I'm getting 776,047 so it's 776,047 now you can see the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so what does it mean about my answer it means my answer is definitely correct so that's how you can solve for x and then after that test your answers and remember these laws of exponents in a way it's a rule to say if the bases are the same you equate the exponent just as a side note also if the second rule says remember the first rule says a m is equal to a n therefore m is equal to n the second rule says if a to the power of m is equal to b to the power of m now look exponents are the same therefore when you've got m as an exponent m as an exponent therefore it means these two are also equal meaning a is equal to b but i will try to look at an example that it uh, talks about this and i will be able to um give it to you from the previous paper but just a quick one for example if i'm given 2 to the power of 3 is equal to x to the power of 3 if you say find x x therefore here is equal to 2 because this is equal to this if that is that that's what we mean guys we've come to the end of our session uh, remember to subscribe to our channel as well as uh, make sure the notification bell is on so that you can be notified every time we post some new videos we have come to the end of our lesson thank you